Welcome to my kitchen today. I will be making Hawaiian pineapple chicken thighs in the crock pot. So I have three chicken breasts that are partially thawed. They're not quite thawed yet, so I'm gonna cook them for a little bit longer than usual. Then I have one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Just gonna mix that together. And I'm just going to season my chicken. First of all, I'm going to put a little olive oil on there to give the spices something to stick to. Just brush the olive oil on. Then we'll put our spices on. And just rub that in. Flip it. Put a little olive oil. Brush that on. And just use the rest of the seasoning. Once you have your chicken all seasoned, we're just going to set that aside and mix up the sauce. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of pineapple juice. Just going to take that out of the can, put that in the bowl. Then two tablespoons of soy sauce. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of honey. You could also use maple syrup. One teaspoon of minced garlic. One teaspoon of ground ginger. If you have fresh ginger, you can use that. And two tablespoons of brown sugar. And just mix that all together. Once that's all mixed together, I'm just going to put my chicken in my crock pot. You could use anywhere from three to six chicken thighs or any kind of chicken that you like. And then I'm going to take my mixture. And just kind of spoon it over the chicken. And then I've drained my pineapples and I'm just going to put those over the top of the chicken. And I'm going to cook this on high for four to five hours maybe a little bit longer because my chicken is partially frozen um, if you're going to cook it on low you'd cook it for six to seven hours so i'll be back and show you what it looks like okay it's been a little over five hours and our chicken is done you always want to check with a thermometer make sure it's at least 165 a little bit more for dark meat so i'm just going to place this on a serving tray and we'll be ready to eat
Now, if you wanted to, you could take the juice from this and put a little bit of cornstarch in to thicken it up. I'm not going to do that today, but you could if you wanted some good gravy. And I'm just going to put the pineapples around it. That's all there is to it. This is super, super easy to make. You put it in in the morning or at noontime and just let it cook. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. That would help me out a great deal. And I will see you on the next one.